I'm Sandy Williams, uh, Williams Farm in Deerfield, Massachusetts. Uh, we're located in the Connecticut River Valley, raised 200 acres of sweet corn, and we also raise about 10 acres of pumpkins and squash. We sell 98% of our crop wholesale. We rotate with a neighboring grower because it's, you know, when you're raising 200 acres of sweet corn, it's hard to rotate on your same, on your, on your own farm and still raise that many acres. So we're in with another farmer. He goes on with potatoes for two years and then I go on with corn for up to no more than four and then it's back to potatoes again. Basically, I try and scout as much as I can. I'll usually take a walk through the field and I'll pull 10 tassels and check those 10 and see how many, how much uh, corn borer inf infestation I have. And then I'll do another 10. And then I probably, I like to do around, anywhere around 100 tassels when I do a scouting of a, of a, a good size block. It takes me about uh, an hour to do a hundred a hundred plants, and then from there I uh, figure out my percentage. If I get over 15 percent infestation of corn borer, then I I spray. Uh, this is a Powell sprayer that we use for uh, control of uh, European corn borer and the control of earworm on our farm. Uh, that right here is set up right now with uh, a drop with a set of nozzles here and a nozzle over the row and so forth down on, on each, uh, each row. And if you can see there's a nozzle, each row has two nozzles, on one on each side. And uh, that's what we use for the control of uh, European corn borer. Uh, the nozzles that we use are a hollow cone nozzle. Um, we used to have fan nozzles and I don't know the droplets were a little bigger and I think we were getting a lot more runoff on the ground and stuff so we went to these. Gives you a finer finer mist, finer pattern plus it it goes out and you know in a cone. We usually try and put on around either 30 to 40 gallons of water to the acre. We uh, put out spray cards. When we use these spray cards that for the for coverage, uh, we just clipped them on the plant with a clothespin or whatever, so they'd stay on the on the plant. Every little drop that hits the card will leave a little like a little dot, so you can see what kind of coverage you're really getting. If we did not spray the corn for corn borer, the general public does not like bugs. I mean they won't buy the corn and then I mean I don't know I think you know if you get a 35 or 40 percent loss in your ears I mean you I mean you're you'd be out of business in no time because that's you know you can't sell that kind of stuff you know I like a 95 percent saleable product to the public some years you don't have to spray if you don't have any pressure but most of the time you do